What's up, Purists? This is Bob from Purist Motorsports. Today, we're going to install a Celine two-point interior chassis brace. Let's get started. So we'll get started with this two-point interior brace. And I say interior brace, I mistakenly said roll bar earlier because it really is just a brace. It is not a roll bar. Because uh, if the car were to roll over, it's not going to really protect much. I've already removed this seat. There's a glare. Sorry. Uh, they, they just pop up here. There's on the 90 to 93s, there's these seat braces underneath here. Uh, let's get a flashlight. Okay, so I've already removed the rear seat and they just pop up. You just grab it right here and it pulls up because it, these, this wire right here is what clamps down on this right here. You just pull straight up and pull it out. The other thing I did was I removed the little... I don't know what you call it. It's not a cup holder, but tray that mounts to the bottom of the quarter panel. There's a rivet right there that you need to drill out. The reason I did that is because when you put the roll bar in, because it's going to go in this area here on top of the seat brace, it will scratch the bottom of this uh we don't want it to, to add any scratches because it get, digs into the plastic so the best thing to do is to take this out uh, you'll have to rivet it back in but uh, it's the best thing to do for to protect the interior and i've removed them both from both sides before we get the brace inside the car uh we've got to remove seat belts uh already loosened this one and the other one on the other side i took and removed so they have to be removed it's a, a T, t50 torx bit for those that don't know and uh, we'll get that out and set the brace in Something to watch for when you're installing these. One, the seat belt will need to be routed a certain way. Two, light. If you set it in the proper place and then bring the bar up, bar up, it will contact the light. So. piece you may have to remove is the cable cover on the driver's side. No big deal. Two screws. in place and I've just got it temporarily put in and you'll notice the bottom I'm able to swing and both sides are that way and that's exactly how it's supposed to be with a car that's never had one because you want it to be a little short so that the seat belts here will line up um, and then when you drill the holes down here and then put the bolts through it actually pulls the floor pan up to the brace so keep that in mind if your car has had one and you get one to put it in it 
you may actually have to take a hammer and knock that part of the floor pan back down a little bit. So don't be surprised. Um, these, this is one that we had replicated. Um, we're having a few done. So, um, now what we've got to do is drill these holes, get it in place. Once it's in place, then we can do the final install with the seat belts. The seat belt hardware on the top attaching points this bolt actually goes into the seat belt hole and it replaces this this bushing acts as that i had to have those machined this is uh this brace is actually one we had made um, if you are interested in one Sign up for the email through the website. Uh, we may offer them, uh, not sure yet. So they're um, hoops we have to jump through. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, so if you're interested, go to the website, puristmotorsports.com and sign up for the email. We may uh, notify those people on that list if we get them available. So with that, this piece replicates this. This goes through the bar and ends up holding the seat belt. Something I need to mention with this is that the car needs to be on a drive on lift or on the ground when you do this it definitely needs to be sitting on all four tires with the suspension loaded Put the bolts in on one side and then mark the holes over here with the drill bit. Um, that's because you can't get a, a drill in between the bar and the V-pillar. So that's why I had to go back and forth. bolts through the floor pan the holes drilled we're going to remove this put the seat belts on it so the setup that I showed you before the seat belt has to wrap around this way which means this will need to be disconnected I'm not going to put this underneath this um, because of the sharp edges I don't want to drag it underneath the holes that I've drilled so um, it's just best to disconnect this, which I should have done, but I haven't yet, so. 
disconnect this, this being the seat belt. This thing fits tight, so don't be surprised if you're installing one to fuss with it. I guess you could say it's doing its job if it fits really tight. Okay, as you can see, that fits there. You can see the seat belt sits on that. It sandwiches there and then hits the seat belt post, whatever you want to call it, plug that's welded into the B pillar. Now the seat belt has to wrap around and come up here. So as you can see, I'm gonna have to disconnect this down here, pull it around and reconnect it, which is fine. But I do not want to drag it underneath this because of the sharp edges. And as you can see, I mentioned before and showed you, this is loose. What will happen is that this, this floor pin will get pulled up. And, and to that, this is really thin metal. I mean, it's not going to support this car in a rollover. A true roll cage would have big plates welded in. I know some out there have some that are angled to go over this or even land right here. So keep, keep that in mind. This is just a chassis brace. It adds strength to the chassis to keep it from flexing. That's really all it is. And it's also not necessarily the most safest thing on the road because that you're putting a metal object inside a car. Um, would recommend that you put padding on it, but Celine did not in their models that they offered. This particular style was first offered in the 89 SSC in a four point version. The SSC has pieces that come from here and go down into these speaker grills. Um, and the SSC does not have a rear seat.
done. And that's it. That's all she wrote for installing this. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to make comments below. I may have missed some things or there's some things that uh, well, you, you may have better ideas of how to approach the steps in doing this. But I really appreciate you watching. The, well, you can tell this is really made it solid. The door's shut better already, tight, you can just tell. And um, it keeps, as you saw, the factory covers on it and um so it's a it's a nice piece and again it's it's just a, a chassis brace it's not really a roll bar um although everybody calls it a roll bar including myself but um I'll, uh, be sure to go to purestmotorsports.com sign up for the email it's possible that we may have some of these um reproduced to sell outright i'm not sure that we'll be able to do that um, we're just doing them for clients cars as needed right now, but um, We could have some available in the future and if that happens, we will email people on that list first uh, So I highly recommend you do that and while you're there be sure to check out the store We've got some designs there for just for Celine owners and some other things we're doing favorite cars of ours that uh, We enjoy don't forget to like subscribe tag and share we really appreciate you watching and as always, whether you're driving them or restoring them, always enjoy them. Peace.